Lake Parallax here to entertain you <laughs> with the help of Scotty B, <laughs> a singer, songwriter, producer that I saw two days ago at a free concert. I'm starting this video on uh, this Viadox here because uh, I I'm going to cover something at the end of the video that I uh, saw of uh, a video about history uh, specifically pertaining to the oasis of the Midwest <laughs> and my personal memories of that or reflection anyway Scotty B Scotty or, or rather Scott E Barrent <laughs> and the US project um, so Myself, my sister, my brother-in-law, we all went to a free concert Saturday night. Um, it was a cover band of Phil Collins and Peter Gabriel. <laughs> and I must say, we had a good time. I, uh, I'll have some short, less than a minute video clips to share after I make this video here to uh, maybe capture the fun we had. But... Uh, um, yeah, the, uh, I'm listening to the CD. <laughs> he gave us his CD. I like the title. To the Sun and the Moon and Back. <laughs> uh, there's even a track on there called Al Beyond Moon. <laughs> or Moon. Al Beyond Moon. <laughs> um, but I'm halfway through the CD. Before I started recording, I was listening to a track called uh, Walk It Away, Walk It Away. I'm not going to sing too much because I don't want this video to get copyright clean, but um, I'm impressed. I, uh, the first track that, that I, that's on here is called a song called Free Me, and the lyrics are Free Me From You. <laughs> like, yeah. That, res that resonates with me totally. That totally resonates with me. <laughs> Free me from you. The, uh, a direct dedication to uh, the Father. But I have to prove myself. That's why I need his apples in my life now. But uh, because I'm listening to this CD for the first time, the uh, fourth track is David. my thoughts and everything. The, the skip was so smooth I didn't even notice <laughs> for like a couple minutes. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait a minute. This, this CD is skipping, I think. <laughs> it out it was. But the skip was so smooth because I'm listening to this for the first time in my life. Uh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, yeah, when I first heard about this cover band, a band that covers uh, Phil Collins, Peter Gabriel, Genesis. Uh, they haven't even had a little surprise. They did a one, Mike and the Mechanics. Of course, they're going to do one of the super popular ones. Although not as popular, but maybe, but uh, probably pretty well known as the Living Years song, which was the first cassette single, I believe, I bought as a child. Either that or uh, um, Howard Jones's uh, Everlasting Love. One of those two was the first cassette single I either bought or stole as a child. <laughs> uh, overall, I'd say the music on here is, uh, you know, rock, soft rock, maybe country or new wave, call that new wave country you hear about. Um, really hard to label music, you know what I mean? Uh, well, except for most of the stuff coming out now, I would label that as uh, crap. <laughs> Not all of it, but most of it. Uh, but anyways, uh, anyways, uh, 
In addition to giving me and my sister both a copy of his CD, which I'm listening to now, uh, uh, as I do doing this, well, not right now, but I, I pause to do this video, but I'm jogging to it. In addition to that, he gave me his uh, business card. <laughs> this guy's got a lot on his plate. Singer, songwriter, producer. <laughs> Scott E. <laughs> Berent. <laughs> Better than... I don't know if the D is silent or what. I'm, I, I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce it. I think it's Berent. Anyways, uh, when I first heard about this Phil Collins, Peter Gabriel cover band, honestly, I thought there was, I assumed there was going to be two singers in it. One covering Phil Collins stuff and one covering Peter Gabriel stuff, or singing Peter Gabriel stuff. That wasn't the case, the Scotty B sang everything. Uh, but the dude on the guitar with the gray goatee <laughs> looked uh, a little bit, from my vantage point anyways, looked a little bit like Peter Gabriel. I assumed that when uh, they sang the first Peter Gabriel song, he was going to come up come up, and step up to the mic and sing <laughs> Peter Gabriel. But I was wrong. It's all Scotty B. Uh, um... When I initially, not so much at the concert, but uh, when I first started this CD, the first two songs, Free Me, Jaded, uh, I was getting John Hyatt vibes in his singing voice, but that kind of faded as I listened more and more to the CD. But the, the, there are hints of John Hyatt in his singing voice, but uh, his voice really is, his voice is more or less all his own, but I did hear a little hints of John Hyatt. <clears throat> he uh, he did that song in the '90s, "Cry Love." That's how that was my introduction to him. That "Cry Love" song. Anyways, so I took some videos. He actually encouraged us to share whatever we recorded on our social media. So I'm going to do that. The corresponding videos after this will probably reflect that and give you a kind of a a feel of the experience. Most of it is uh, a minute or less, less than a minute video clips, just uh, um, to avoid trouble on YouTube. But I think overall, um, I'll just share it in parts and uh, you can get a feel for the experience of what it's like going to a concert of his. Um, to, uh, I managed to get uh, my sister and I, went up there and we're talking with him and everything. That's how he gave us the CDs and my, you know, gave me his business card. And, um, and I, uh, I asked, could I, could I get a picture? Uh, of, could my sister get a picture with you? And uh, we did that. And um, so this leads into how I wanted to end this video. This is good. This is how, kind of how I wanted to end this video this jogging session video. So, it's it saddens me because it's the, I know it's the truth. My sister, both of my sisters really, are perfect examples of government power, influence, policies, special interest groups run amok. My sister, and you'll see her in the video clip, where she's uh, getting the picture with the guy. But she, she could have did more in life. But I think she fell victim to the philosophy of, I don't have to work that hard. Because no matter what, the government will always support me. I think that's why she never really tried in life. But like I said... My sister is a pretty good example of the victim of a government run amok in our society. Maybe it's because I was the boy child, but I didn't, uh, I, I always had, the, being born male, I always had the drive to want to succeed, to want to get ahead. My sister just, I think she could have had the drive, but sadly, she did not because... She, I, I think she fell victim to the 
to the I don't have to work that hard because no matter what, the government will always be there to take care of me. When we were kids, he was used to say, I don't know if I can do this, it might screw up my SSI. He <laughs> would make comments like that. As I said before on this channel, I, took the, I went downtown and took the test and whatever normal is, the state decided I was it. So <laughs> I was, they dropped jurisdiction over me, so I was kind of like a free agent at that point. But I honestly believe my sister is a victim of that philosophy. I don't have to because the government will. My sister is a victim of that philosophy. I don't have to, I don't have to because the government will. My sister is an example of that philosophy. to work on herself and improve her health. She'll never out this joy. That's all I have to say about that. Anyways, uh, so back to the oasis and why I started this video. <laughs> so when we were kids in the Midwest growing up, my father, because he couldn't be away from his parents for too long, we would have to go to drive an hour and a half drive to go visit his parents every Saturday. So we would drive under the Oasis, one of the Oasis. I think it was the Howard Johnson uh, restaurant. And my memory of it is vague because I was a child. But one thing I do remember is my association with that uh, restaurant we drove under, we never actually went in that uh, Howard Johnson restaurant we used to drive under. My personal memory, association, associated memory in childhood with that is uh, being uh, slapped in the leg. Uh, I had a constant say to Charlie Horse from my male feminist father who always took it upon himself to strike me in the lap. So I had like a perpetual bruise and Charlie Horse there for most of my childhood. Whenever he felt I wasn't paying attention to his driving because that was one of my uh, chores as a child as well, uh, making sure dad was driving correctly. <laughs> that was one of my, another one of my interesting chores as a child. But anyways, yeah, making that hour and a half drive every Saturday to visit his mama so he could collect his $40 a week allowance. And I got my $3. <laughs> allowance, which technically was supposed to be a dollar for each of us, but for some reason my grandmother just gave all three dollars to me. <laughs> That's how I was able to do a little bit of the stuff I did in childhood. Alright, I'm rambling. Mike Fairlock. Thank you for listening to the rant.